So I'm back and this video is going to be about episode 6 to 10 because the last video was about episode 1 to 5 what the fuck is this? Like the last video I did, it wasn't really a review slash reaction, it was just me talking about the episodes in my own special little way and that is what this is going to be again. So let's just get right into it because you've been waiting and waiting and waiting for it. So episode 6 starts off basically where episode 5 left off. Like, they're coming back from the fishing, and Bai's like, why the fuck, like, are you on your phone? You should be talking to me, because I'm your bin, you should be sucking my dick. And they get back to Bai's house, and Goo's all like, and notice how I said Goo instead of Zhao. I got it right this time. So they get back to Bai's house, and Goo's like, I'm fucking filthy. I need to shower and wash this dick ready so it's all clean and fresh to be inside your asshole. And he's like, bye, why don't you jump in the shower with me? Because then it'll be even more hot. So it's the next day and Lulu, bitch Lulu turns up and she's like accusing Guy of cheating on her because she's a thirsty ass little bitch and she's just trying to be up his hassle and she needs to fuck off because Bai is gonna be inside his hassle. Actually, no, Guy is the top. Yinzi is the bottom. I think we can all grasp that from this situation. <laughs> Guy explains to her that like he's been hanging with his bear the entire time and she needs to like actually fuck off because like she doesn't need to worry about him like, you know, being interested in any other girl. So a weekend went by and Goo's all like, bye, did you fucking miss this dick? Like it's been two days, like get on it right now. <laughs> and that's basically episode six. So episode seven, Goo and Bai are walking to school and Goo buys Bye. That's a mouthful. Goo buys bye some anal beads to chew on. Oh, oh, baby. Just buy me. Just let that sell. So they get to school and um, you know there's those two other characters that I feel they're kind of irrelevant and like I could do without them. And uh, one of them's asking Bai for help because he's like being all, oh I can't get this answer right, can you fucking help me? And like Zhao, oh my god it's just Zhao. Goo is all like, can you fuck off actually because he is mine and you need to actually sit the fuck down even though you're sitting but like even like fuck off the fuck fuck. So the next day, Goo asks Bai to go shopping with him because he needs some new clothes that he's eventually gonna rip off and like, have sex with him. So Bai has been invited by Goo's dad. At this point he doesn't know that he's Goo's dad, he just thinks that he's the new lover of like his mum and like, yeah, he asks him to like, you know, be a little nice to his mum and he's just like, uh, no, fuck off, she's a bitch, she left my dad. So it's later on and Goo's like, you know, at Bai's house and he's like, they get drunk and he's like pretending to be drunk just so he can sleep at Bai's house and like they're in bed and he's like, get get out, you need to like go home and he's like, no, I'm too drunk, I need to stay here so I can suck your dick. But nothing happens, which sucks. So it's the next morning and they're bike riding to school and Goo's like putting his hands inside like Bai's pockets because he's trying to be warm and like it's just like adorable and I'm just like, ah. And at this point, Goo has been like asked by Bai's mum to meet up and she's wanting him to come back home and he's like, uh, no, I have somewhere to be right now, like inside Bai Lu Yin's asshole. So then we get back to Bai's house and like Goo come back from, you know, seeing Bai's mum and like feeds him a piece of cake when he should be feeding him his dick. So it's later on and like they're cuddling in bed and Bai tells Goo that he knows that he's like, you know, like a rich, rich sugar daddy. So it's the next morning and Bai wakes up and Goo's got his arm around Bai's neck and like he shrugs it off and he goes to smack him but then he's like, oh, I'm gonna fucking tuck you in a little bit more and then I'm gonna fucking stare at you because you are hot as fucking shit. Then there's a quick shot of them playing basketball at school and like, you know, his eyebrows are all like, yes, I'm gonna get inside you tonight. And then this guy just smacks into Bai and like hits a ball and then all of a sudden he's got a massive bruise on his head even though he hit his chest and it's just like, okay, I'll let that one slide. And Goo loses it at this guy but like those two irrelevant characters are like trying to pull him back and it's just like, drama. So then Goo takes Bai home and he's like, I need to fucking wash you because you've been hurt and I need to comfort you and I need to scrub your little penis before I eat it. Goo stays the night again but this time it's getting real interesting. Like it's fully actually, like fully getting real right now. Like Goo is trying to slip his hand inside Bai's crotch and I'm just like, oh my God. Bai's like, what are you doing? And goes all like, oh don't worry, it's just like a, it's just a bro job, like guys being dudes being bros. So it's the next day and Goo's got Yinzi's like auntie this restaurant. Like they say that she's the auntie, but like she's just this other woman who like Yinzi's dad is like in love with and that's like a whole other thing, but it's like it's not relevant to the story because all we care about is these two like fucking 
So episode nine, Goo has a blemish on his lip and he's like all the yins, they're like, oh my God, help me. I need you to fucking make help me right now. But like he gives him some hemorrhoid like ointment to try and fix it. And he's like fucking pissed. Just the next day and like, you know, Goo's basically got by his dad a new job, like an even better job. So it's like, you know, he's like hooking everyone up in this fucking series because he's a rich fucking sugar daddy. And that's basically like episode, which episode is this? Episode 9. So episode 10, Bai's dad has bought Goo a bed and he is pissed because he wants to sleep with Bit. So then it gets later on to the night and like he's trying to sneak into bed with Bai but like he's got a fucking cactus in his bed and he gets like pricks all up in his like, he's like you need to take these pricks out of me and then I need to stick my prick inside you. So then it's the next morning and Bai wakes up and Goo has glued the beds together and it's just like, you were crafty son of a bitch. And I'm like, yes, yes. So he gets to school and like one of the irrelevant boys tells Bai to tell Goo that his girlfriend is cheating on you. That's right, Lou, slutty ass, relevant fucking bitch Lulu has cheated on him. And so he leaves school, tries to track her down. He sees her at this hotel, like is in the room. She's there, she's like, that's right, I slept with this guy, you fucking jealous, and he's like pissed, and like, then she's like, oh my god, I didn't really, like, you, like, I need you, like, and he's like, at this point, he's like, fuck off, bitch, I've got bye, so, fuck you. So it's the next day, and Bai and Goo are like opening the auntie's restaurant, and guess who fucking comes by? Bai's mum. And at this point, this is where they find out that they're stepbrothers. And it just like, it hits the fan, like, Bai leaves, and he's like in distraught mode, and like, Goo's all like, what are you doing? Like, why are you trying to do this to me? And like, Bai's like, you need to get the fuck out of this house. And at this point, I'm fucking like a cell on the floor, like dripping in like cellular like fluid. And I'm just like, I need this to be like, okay, to like make my life like whole again. And that's basically episode 10. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd like to say thank you to all the people who've subscribed to me, like since me doing the last video. And I'm glad that there are a lot of people out there who actually enjoy this show as much as I do. We were all expecting this to come in at some point. I bet you were, weren't you? Well, here he is. <laughs> <laughs>